about five years ago, pregnancy cravings put chicken parm at the top of my list. Thus, the PTL Chicken Parmathon was born, and little Rocco soon after. Do you remember with Marie going for bark? I know, we need, that, we need that sound effect. <laughs> All right, well, after a little bit of a hiatus, the tasting competition is back. But this time, we've upped the ante. We asked you for your help finding the very best chicken parm in our area. So we showed you the finalists earlier on in the show, and now we get to taste them. But we're going to pass the torch to Mary. Uh, because, Mary, we're going to dive in, and you're going to kind of help us through this, it right? It smells amazing. I okay. know it does. All right, so we'll, okay. start, we'll start at the left, and there's a lot going on Look here. Look at they, this hole, yeah. They brought yeah. appetizers. They got some wedding soup here, but um, this one is Oasis Restaurant in South Fayette. And, okay. you know, you have to think about the chicken parm, too. You have to think the crispiness, the type of cheese there is. Is it mozzarella, provolone? Is it mm -hmm. Parmesan? There's a lot to it. Oh. What do you think? Well, that this one is, is good. really good. Chicken is... 10 out of 10. I mean, chicken is tender. They started and the their spices in the sauce are really, really good. Yeah, I mean, I would think since they, I mean, they started their business 1933. Like, there's a lot oh. that goes behind this, and I'm assuming they probably kept the same recipe for. All right, a very I want to eat more of this, but I'm not going to because no, you got another one. Yeah, no, no, yeah. I am. Yeah. I need a two full. I need a second. It's really, well, you need to make sure it, how I'll, good I'll it save is. Save me some. Okay, then I'm gonna. Oh no, we'll take care of you, Mary. Don't you worry. Okay. But All the right. chicken is super tender. Mm-hmm. It's the best part. Okay, that's really good. Really good and crispy. Okay, this one is Alan Rubin's. Uh, bar and grill, and this is in Washington. Okay. Um, they brought the, the beautiful cake. Well, oh, let's talk, talk about, about the, cake. the cake. I knocked it over. It's fine. It, it's, I kinda, we I tried to it. smooth it over. <laughs> I caught it. <laughs> and I'll, it. we'll still eat it. It's great. It's cheesecake. I, I did. It looks fantastic. I have to say. The icing is really good. Uh -huh. I had a bunch of it on my hands. I, I still smell it. It's amazing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right so this. you have. I love their presentation. Look how beautiful. pretty these plates are. It is really beautiful. I love it. Oh um, wow! Yeah, it's an it's an Italian American restaurant. They serve they serve mm. food for the soul. Is it is mm. do you feel it in your soul? Yes. Good for my soul. There's right. really good seasoning. I can't tell if it's in the chicken or in the sauce. You know what? And I like the crispiness of the chicken. Mm -hmm. Like they really like the like breading. That exactly. Yep. Like there's a science to that, and they have it nailed. I want to try. Is this that looks uh, amazing? That looks like Alfredo. Do you like wow. Alfredo or red sauce better? I'm a I'm a big red sauce okay. gal. Yeah. I'm good with both. I'm good with I mean, both. Why, why pick between when you can have both? When you can have both. <laughs> I okay. love it. All right. So what's up next? All right, that was really so good. we have Rizzo's next. Okay. And uh, this mm. sauce. This has to be some amazing sauce because it is saucy. Mm -hmm. It is saucy. It okay. Is saucy, you can tell. Uh, Rizzo's Malabar Inn. I've been here um, before. I have not. This is in Crabtree. Um, and they were they were in the PTL Parmathon back in 2019. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? I do. I do. <gasps> yeah. Oh man. Wait, it opened as a bar and the store's on the first floor of their house. Oh, I love the garlic. He was born in the upstairs living quarters. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. That's amazing. Isn't that great? You know, hold on. I want to just you have get, to get in a little. Here. Because I it's think nice the one unique thing about this one is that there is no breading, so there's nothing to hide behind with this one. I have a question. Are you uh -huh. noticing a difference mm -hmm. between the three? <laughs> you got down on your knees to Be check it out. They all look kind of. You know, they all look similar. Like no, but to I me is like am noticing farm, a difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, this this is heavy on like I like the garlic. <laughs> I love the sauces. Oh wait, can you, Teddy can you and Patty are tasting over here too. Scott, can you see this? Right over here. Mm. Look at this. What's happening? What are you guys <laughs> doing? This is not your chicken part. What is happening over here? They're backup judges. Oh, I love it. Backup. Right. Just and checking. You guys notice the call. difference. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I love it. I am, I am tasting the difference. All There's right. a lot of different. Mm -hmm. This is definitely one, different. This one was near and dear to my heart the first time when I was pregnant. Oh, with I know. You talked about this right. for uh, what? Almost is it four years? Five years? It's five years. Yeah. Five yeah. years. He's yeah. gonna be five years old this summer. This is Tilly's. Yeah. This is Tilly's, and they're right. in McKeesport. They've been around since 1962, and that's a ravioli mm -hmm. on the top. <laughs> And I'm trying, so I love that. There has to be at least like three different cheeses on this. I don't know. Mm. It's very cheesy. Mm -hmm. Do you mm. love it? I love it. Mm. And you've had this before. Yes. I took way too big of a bite. This is what they're known is, for. They're this, known for their huge raviolis. That's the biggest ravioli what, I've ever seen. This is fantastic. Wow. That's literally the biggest ravioli mm. I've ever seen in my life. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, Mary, you haven't tried any of these. I have not. By looks alone, any of them calling your name? For sure. I'm a crispy chicken type of gal. All right. This one. Mm hmm. Oh, okay, that right. would be Alan Rubens. Alan so, Rubens. Do we have but I also really love raviolis. So, Dave and I are going to discuss, but do we have the list of the categories that we're going to crown them? We Where do in the, next, in the next block. We have it. 
There's okay. a, I didn't even yeah. know that you could even do different categories, but yeah. it makes sense. With we have, sauce. You have different categories because everyone is going to win something because these are all winning plates. Let I me don't tell know. you. I don't know. It's, it's yeah. really hard to decide. Take hard. a couple more bites to decide. Okay, we're going to talk this over on the commercial break. I wonder if you guys are going to agree on them now. Well, How that's, that's that why up? Patty and Teddy are over here to break any okay. ties. Oh, They're going to help it. us out. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. All right, so we're going to discuss in the commercial break. We're going to reveal the winners when we come back.